It is our first weekend in the boatyard since we got back to the UK. Hello guys! As you can see, we are not alone. Patrick came with us and offered to give us a hand. We're going to remove a lot of stuff from the boat. Some of it we will store at home until it's time to fit it again, like running rigging for instance, and other stuff we will discard right away. Ziggy is removing all of the devices from the nav station. Just like that, everything is gone. That's pretty much it from our cabin. I was very tempted to throw the mattresses away, but um, Ziggy suggested that we should take the measurements first and then chuck them, and in the future we'll order new ones. But these ones, you can see, they are literally falling apart. Patrick and I are removing headlining. We won't be using the same headlining, so it's something that is going to the bin as well. And voila, we made a bigger mess. We managed to remove some electronics and some of wires on the boat today and Nat and Patrick they remove all the headlining. I think it's a time to call it a day. Okay. It is the weekend again and right after work we stuff a duvet into our bag, we grab some food and drinks so we can stay on Squalor overnight. I feel like I'm breaking in onto someone's boat. Okay, we have to connect to uh, electricity. As you can see, we, can, we settled in. You comfy, babe? We're sleeping in the saloon because uh, there's a mess in the uh, aft cabin, but I'm sure we'll be fine here. Ooh, look at that. Nice. <laughs> bon appétit. We plan to empty the diesel tank, but seem to have a problem opening it. No can do. We had no choice but to cut through one of the hatch openings. Ready? In the end, uh, we resorted to the most simple method. We used just a piece of the, our hose. The other one with the pump it was really hard work. It was leaking around the pump and it didn't create a vacuum, so he had to constantly pump it. So he quickly changed it to just a simple hose. And once uh, the diesel was flowing into the tank, into the sorry, into the canister, he didn't have to pump it, it was just running. There was a thick layer of algae and god knows what else thriving inside that tank. As we already have some on board, we use regular diapers here to soak in whatever is left over at the bottom. 
what's the plan for today? Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm cleaning the diesel tank. And you're gonna be sanding hole. Yeah, so weather is getting better lately. So it's the first day of sanding and I will try to do as much as I can. Yay! Yeah. So here come. Clean those tanks I didn't really use any soap or detergent. Uh, the best solution turned out to be uh, just diesel so I used the one that we already pumped out. I then finished off with those wipes. Uh, Ziggy normally uses them at construction sites. They're big well, big wipes. They work really 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 well. They're pretty expensive but they worth the money. Now going back to that um, full event hatch lid that we had to destroy, <laughs> uh, if you like, uh, to get access to uh, the diesel tank. Well, we can get hold of hold of them from Oyster. Um, I contacted um, Oyster after sales team and they do hold them in stock. But because the not only the lid was destroyed, the whole thread is gone now. So that we cannot replace because it's that the tanks are part of the boat. We'll have to order probably a custom made one. So I guess this is it uh, for today and I guess we will see you next weekend uh, when uh, there will be some more sanding and also I'll start preparing um, that uh, workshop there. So see you then.